what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. I'm here in Miami, Florida. We are part of the Nissan Media launch of this very car. This is the all new, totally redesigned from top to bottom, side to side, front to back, Nissan Sentra. Let's talk a little bit about Nissan history. Believe it or not, Nissan has been around since 1934. They actually produced their first vehicle in 1935 out of their Yokohama factory. Since then, so many things have changed with not only Nissan, but also the car industry. So many great decades of cars being produced, not only for public transportation, but also, of course, out on the racetrack. Now, with this 2020 Nissan Sentra, this is their compact car competitor to go up against the likes of the Honda Civic, the Mazda 3, the Toyota Corolla, and the Hyundai Elantra. Those are the main competitors to the Sentra. Now, this being the eighth generation, we're seeing a little bit more of a grown-up look to the Sentra in a very good way, which I think is gonna help bring people who maybe are a little bit older and have been Nissan customers for a while, or maybe they were Nissan customers when they were younger, but also bring in the people who are now getting their license or graduating from college or, or buying their first new car. One thing is for sure, this Sentra definitely has some changes that I'm gonna spend some time on pointing out to you. So let's go ahead and dive into this all new Nissan Sentra. Right off the bat, one thing you'll notice is that the car is two inches wider. It's also gonna be lower and longer. The great news is not only does it give us a more attractive exterior than the previous generation, the wonderful news, wait until we get inside. The amount of room is mind blowing. Now what you're gonna find on standard on the Sentra is gonna be full LED lighting. So I really like what they did with the headlight design, daytime running lamp, headlamp, and then as we drop down, no fake vents. Thank you, Nissan. I really like what they did with the lower exterior lighting, a little bit of gloss black, and it really is popping perfect with this color. You can see how they extended the front fascia on the corner just to give you enough of a nice airflow and styling element. Speaking of style, when we get to the center area, this is that V-Motion grill. No matter if you're looking at a GTR, a 370Z, uh, an Altima, a Maxima, you're gonna get that same V-Motion shape grill that is part of their brand identity, including that iconic Nissan logo. Look at how the nose really slopes down nicely. As we come down, a little bit of flat black, but I'm telling you, there's a lot of different elements here to really elevate the look of the Sentra, and it really looks like a baby Maxima. A lot of people are saying Altima. I'm saying no, this is a baby Maxima from the outside with the look. Now, when we get up onto the hood, you can see how the body lines start on that front fascia, go up into the hood, and then fade away. Nothing too funky, nothing that looks like it's a, a, a middle school uh, kid's art project, something that has that futuristic look, but very, very tasteful. Now, as we come around the bend here, look at the way the lines, the angles on that front fascia, we get to our wheel and tire setup. Now, what's great about the Sentra, you have some choices. Base wheel is gonna be a 16 inch wheel. On this particular SR trim model, this one is gonna be an 18 inch wheel. So you're gonna have the machined aluminum. I like the gloss black, really fits well with the style of the car. You got your ventilated brakes, gonna help with obviously cooling and give you nice stopping capabilities to keep you safe and make sure you're gonna stop on a dime every time. Now, as we go into the fender, nice fender line all the way around and then we pick up the belt line all the way here and it goes all the way into about midway of the passenger door. Now, gloss black on the mirror caps, I like that. And I also like on this one, there's gonna be three different color options where you could actually get a blacked out roof. The whole thing, pillars and all. So with this particular model, eight pillars, everything's blacked out. You do get a nice sunroof and what's great with it all being blacked out, it all blends in so nicely. We continue down the side, little bit of chrome trim, just follows along the bottom here. And I really like the lower sill extension, just a little bit to give it some character, give it some personality. We come to the rear. Now this is interesting. That belt line that I pointed out earlier that fade away, faded away, it actually gets picked up in the rear passenger door and then comes all the way, very sharp, almost gives it a nice flared out fender look from the front to the rear into the taillight setup. Now you can see, like I said, SR trim, tasteful badge, I love the trunklet spoiler, gives it just enough kick up 
gives it enough character. We drop down and then you're going to get a little bit of uh, like a metallic gray finish here. There is some faux vent on the back and I am going to zonk that. I think that it would be a lot cleaner without that, but I do like what they did with the rear diffuser. Another thing that I would like to see, especially since this is a SR trim, dual exhaust. You do have one functional tip, but I think you, me, and everybody else down the street would agree that two tips would really elevate the tail end of the business. But let's go ahead, let's pop that a very attractive hood and see what's powering this 2020 Sentry. All right, guys, we got the hood popped. Now there is a prop rod, but many of the other competitors, if not all, have a prop rod, so we're not gonna zonk that, but underneath the hood, we have a new choice of engine. Now the wonderful thing is, just one choice to kind of simplify the whole lineup. You're looking at a two liter, inline four, naturally aspirated engine. It's actually from the Rogue Sport. 149 horsepower, 146 pound-feet of torque. That's an 11 horsepower increase from the last generation. CVT transmission is your only choice right now, but I was talking with some of the um, Nissan people and a manual could be a possibility down the road. You are gonna have, the CVT has been recalibrated. You do have your simulated shift points. The car weighs about 3,122 pounds. Zero to 60 is a little sluggish, but that's not the name of the game with this particular Sentra. Zero to 60, 9.2 seconds, quarter mile in 17 seconds, and MPGs 28 in the city, 37 on the highway. What Nissan is trying to do with this setup is simplify, kind of streamline, and then they're gonna come back around and look at other alternatives, like maybe a turbocharged engine and that manual transmission. One thing is for sure though, more horsepower. It's got a totally different rack and pinion, dual piston rack and pinion to give you a better feel because they know that they want you to have that nice driving feel as you're going down the road and you have an updated new multi-link rear suspension. So while we go ahead, we talked about underneath the hood, we talked about that attractive outside. Let's go check out the inside of the all new 2020 Sentra. All right, guys, we're inside the 2020 Nissan Sentra. You'll notice that roof line. They really lowered it down. But the great news is it doesn't take away space in here. That's the wonderful magic that Nissan has done with this Sentra. Now, if you're wondering, well, Joe, how much does this new Sentra cost? The great news is based off the three different trim levels, you could come in at around $19,000. And this particular SR, you're looking around $22,000, $23,000. So this really is priced uh, very aggressively to go up against those competitors. Let's see what you get for the money though. Now on the door panels, soft material everywhere. I love that orange stitching. Now the orange stitching is gonna be the standard color, but it matches great with our particular Sentra that we have. I do like that nice uh, leatherette type material on the armrest. The silver trim is very nice. The only thing I'm not really loving is the faux carbon fiber. I wish they would have went with a little bit different material. Um, I know they're trying to move away from gloss black, but uh, faux carbon fiber in this particular car just doesn't fit it well. But I do like that brushed aluminum. This one has the Bose upgraded sound system. Nice pocket down there for a Twinkie and a drink to wash it down. Now, as we go from the door panel to the dash, soft material, that beautiful stitch work, a little bit of gloss black looks great here. We come into the main area. Now you're gonna get that iPad style infotainment system screen, but they integrated it very nicely. And you'll notice how the dash kind of slopes down. That's an eight inch. This is the optional eight inch screen. All the other ones, base models will have a seven inch screen. Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, real easy. You could hit the buttons and of course it's a touch screen as well. You could use your swipe features to go back and forth, um, but very, very easy to understand. And what I'm liking too is, is in this Miami sun, the glare isn't too bad. A Little bit of gloss black, looks great. Let me put the car in reverse to show you we have our backup camera. It's a little grainy, but you know what? It is something that's really nice with the directionals. I do like that. And you're getting your 360 degree camera as well on a Nissan Sentra. That's a very nice touch. As we drop down, one of my favorite parts of the interior is these are these AC vents. They look very much like something out of a Mercedes. Nissan says they actually took this design from the GTR, from the air vents in the GTR. So you could have a little GTR this with your Sentra, but I like the, the shape of it, very aeronautical, a little bit of gloss black, nothing too bad, heated seats, heated steering wheel, and then I'm really digging the controls. Nice silver finish to them. You have your dual climate controls, easy to read, easy to understand. We drop down, here's where we have our connectivity. So you have 12 volt, aux jack, USB, and a USB-C, 
and you could have your backup Twizzlers down here to snack on while your phone is charging. You have a very tasteful start stop button. This is gonna be controlling that CVT transmission. You do have a little bit of leather, uh, which is a nice touch, that leather material. I like the stitching. Two cup holders, a little bit more of that faux carbon fiber, which like I said, I zonked it over there. I'm zonking it over here. Here is your standard Nissan key fob. It's small, it's light. Um, it's basically what they've been using uh, overall, but it's very small and very light. And I like that way it has the nice silver buttons. It's a nice touch. Little tiny cubby here for some breath mints. You know, say you're about to uh, go on your first date with somebody, make sure you have a breath mint. We don't, we don't want to see the bad stuff that happens. Soft material on the armrest, the orange stitch work. And the great news is, is that yes, there's no connectivity in here, which may be a bad thing, but you have plenty of storage space. You could put easily a bag of Lay's chips in there and hide them from everybody in the car. Keep it sealed up. And then the seats, I like what they did here. The stitch work, I like the orange material in the center. Very nice, soft. Uh, material all the way down. Now it is manual for the passenger, which is okay. Make them earn their keep while you're driving them down the road. Over here for the driver, you do have full electric assist. The one thing that I, that I really love is that you are getting the sunroof. The one thing I'm not loving, which I am gonna have to zonk, is there isn't a frameless auto dimming mirror. You have an auto dimming mirror, which is definitely a thumbs up. I would just like this to be frameless bring it more to this is a 2020 let's let's make it look fully like a 2020 but why don't you come in over the business end because i'm telling you there's some awesome things happening behind the wheel of this Sentra. all right guys business end like i was telling you you do have your electric assist for the driver even the lower lumbar for the so sore lower back after a hard days of work when you get this steering wheel it's crazy it feels like it's out of a gtr flat bottom I like the thickness, the stitch work is very nice, that same stitching, that's another lesson some of these auto manufacturers need to learn, is use the same color stitching. Nissan did that, I like that. You have a tasteful horn button, a little bit of silver. I like the controls, very easy to understand. And you know what, they're flat black, so you don't have to worry about fingerprints. When we get to the actual setup here, for our gauges, you have an analog tack, coolant, speedometer, and fuel gauge. That's a seven inch display in the center that you could toggle through a plethora a cornucopia of information in that center display. And of course you're gonna get Nissan's full 360 protection. That's gonna have the emergency braking, all that good stuff that's gonna keep you safe and make sure that you arrive alive every time. But like you can see, the new 2020 up front, we got tons of room. Let's check out that back seat and see how your rear passengers are gonna like the new Sentra. All right, guys, backseat time. I've been curious about this because I've been in the competitors and I know how they feel. The wonderful thing is six foot Joe Rady, plenty of headroom. And like I said, it's like they chopped the top a little bit to make it look more aerodynamic and it does, but inside here, plenty of room. My head is not even close to the headliner in here. And I like the way the headliner is a lighter material, really brightens it up. Let's check out the backs of the seats. Now what they did was they wrapped that leather style material all the way around. Decent sized pocket. You could put a banana in there if you want to be healthy. If you don't want to be healthy, hey, put a churro in there. How about that? A couple churros. You do have one USB, which is nice. I would prefer two, especially in the SR trim, but I'm not going to zonk it because, hey, there are other brands we've been in where you don't even get that. There isn't any rear AC to talk about, but the good news is I did not move the driver's seat. So the driver's seat is in the position of six foot tall Joe Rady. I got plenty of knee room, plenty of leg room. I feel cool as a cucumber back here. Armrest time. So we pulled down the armrest. Yay! They have the cup holders the way they should be. Nice horizontal. Ooh, ooh, soft. Soft on that material. Folds back nicely. The seats look really sharp with the same stitch work, which is great. Let's check out the trunk. They say it's a compact. Let's see if the trunk is super compact. Let's go check it out. All right, guys, time to check out the trunk space on the new Sentra. Real simple, you push a button and you just lift it up. Nice size opening, nice and wide. And when you look at the room there, you're gonna have plenty of room to put a longer things. The great news is, of course, the seats are gonna do a 60-40 split, which is wonderful. And then, of course, this is gonna make driving a little bit more enjoyable than some type of crossover because you are sitting lower. And I'm telling you, with the new rack and pinion setup and the multi-link rear suspension, you are definitely getting better feedback to you as the driver through the wheel and the way that the car is operating. I'm gonna pull up the inside liner. You have a spare. So if you were thinking that there was just gonna be a can of flat fix and you have to 
say a prayer and, and rub your rabbit's foot, your lucky rabbit's foot? No, you don't. You actually could get yourself, if you have a flat tire, you could take care of it yourself. But why don't we get to the best part? We talked about this new Nissan Sentra. If you're ready, I'm ready. Let's take it for a spin. All right, guys, here we are. Hey, guys. You know who this is. She's doing such a great job uh, behind the camera. Of course, we had to get you in front of the camera. Uh, first of all, how does it feel to be in Miami? It's absolutely, you know what, I think it's a little cooler here for yes. some strange reason than it is in Tampa yes, Bay. Definitely. I don't know why, but it's beautiful. Definitely, but we're in the, like we said, we're ready for the drive for the 2020 Nissan Sentra. We're gonna roll on out here. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right, if, if you're ready, here we go. So pulling away from the side road, we found a nice little spot to film. It's kind of hard because it's just a two lane road, but uh, I'll tell you one thing, the Sentra is very easy to maneuver. Um, very, very smooth. Now, let's talk about comfort. Lori, passenger side, how does the comfort feel over there? You know, it feels very, very comfortable. I like these seats. Didn't they call them like zero gravity? Yes, believe it or not, NASA actually worked with Nissan to make these seats and they call them zero gravity seats because of how not only comfortable, but also supportive, but it almost feels like you're not sitting on anything. It's very comfortable. You and thought it was like, a joke. I did. Yeah. I was like, what does that even mean? Yeah. And then, so I'm sitting in this and I like how the hamstrings, it's got a nice long seat base and there's a little bit of bolstering, but it's not too sure. much and it's on the outside. Sure. So it feels very, very good. Um, if you're wondering why am I stopping in the why middle of the road? Why are you stopping in the well, middle of the road? there's nobody behind us right now. I want to show them <laughs> acceleration test. Uh, there are no paddles behind the steering wheel. So for me, I think that's a good thing. I mean, in this car, do we really need paddles? Well, it's not necessarily a sporty car. Yeah, yeah. But, but we're going to do... It's a refined car. Of course. Yeah. We're, we're going to do an acceleration test. Like I said, 149 horsepower. Here we go. On throttle. So you have those simulated shifts. They did recalibrate the CVT. Um, but like I said, I think somebody driving this car, this is a great daily transportation kind of car. Is it a race car? No. Uh, you want a race car, go Nissan buy a GTR. Race car? Yeah, yeah, buy a buy GTR. GTR. <laughs> but with this, I think that it's smart for them at least the first year, maybe two, to, like they said, like yeah. we said earlier, streamline, streamline the decisions and just have the one engine for right now. And I then, think that's important. Then bring a turbo. Well, when you when you think about this particular class of vehicle and all the different competition here, sure. there's some pretty sure. heavy competition. Of course. And so I think you know focusing on these the fit and finish sure. and those creature comfort yeah. features because when I think of a car like this, I think of myself. I yeah. think of commuting. Sure. Yeah. And when you're commuting, you can't race sure, a car. No, yeah. You're in bumper to bumper exactly, traffic. Yeah and you really need comfort, you well, really do. And, and one thing is for sure, with the car being longer and wider, mm -hmm. a lot there's a lot more room in here. Plus, I've, I've noticed that the ride overall has been improved. That multi-link rear suspension. Yeah, that's nice. Is really making the ride so much better to where not only does it feel like you're a little bit more connected to the car, but also, as you can see, we're going down this road and it's not the smoothest of roads and it's really soaking up the bumps really well. Yeah. I do like the overall weight of the steering. It's it's very similar to some of the other brands in this um, segment of the market, which is a good thing. Okay. And then another thing for me that I don't miss is like a mode selector button. There's just one mode, drive, <laughs> and that's it. And I kind of like that. It kind of simplifies the whole process. Do we really need all these different modes? I sometimes wonder. You know, that that's a definitely a debatable point. Yeah. You know, I think, um, you know, for somebody who's regularly commuting, here's one thing that I'll, I'll say. When you're getting on the on-ramp and you're stuck behind some slow sure. drivers, I don't know, maybe it's a psychological thing mm -hmm. to put it into sport mode sure. and hit the hit the ground running. Um, but, you know, so that could be something maybe down the road. You mentioned they're I'm considering. Sure, yeah, like a SER or yeah. maybe even a Nismo. Uh, edition of the Sentra, but definitely visibility out the front mm -hmm. windshield's great. I was a little concerned about the back window because of the way it's angled right. and whatnot. It's actually really, really clear, even with the headrests in the way, because you do have three headrests there, um, one in the middle for the middle passenger. And it actually, visibility is still great. The side mirrors are shaped nice on the outside, but they also give you good visibility as well. And then another thing that I like when it comes to the Nissan 360 of protection is they bring the blind spot monitoring right in those little I corners like there yeah. instead of it being on the mirrors because I sometimes feel on the mirrors it. It, it, it's out of sight out of mind kind of thing or yeah. because it's inside the cabin it's a lot nicer but the ride is really smooth yes it's a CBT we've we've gone down that road before 
um, with, with different models that we've had on Rady's Rise. But overall, this car, gas mileage wise, those MPGs, so respectable. Yeah. And at such a great price point that it's hitting many, many different levels. Uh, let me go ahead and get on the brakes. Feedback is good. There's really no no fuss or muss or anything like that. And then we'll, we'll do another acceleration test again. So on throttle, like I said, it, it, it just takes a little while to get going, but once you get going, you're up to speed and whatnot. Very smooth. And, and they did, like I said, they did put some work into recalibrating this CVT. But while we go ahead, we're at a stop sign. I think it's time for Lori to get behind the wheel of the Sentra. Finally. All right, let's do it. So give us one second. We're going to swap speed uh, seats here, and we'll be right back. All right, guys, look who's behind the wheel. Hey, guys. All right, so we swap seats. I'm over on the passenger side. Lori, what do you think so far of that steering wheel over there? I like the thickness of yeah. it, and I like how it's that flat bottom or D-shape. Yep. It makes it feel, you know, more comfortable, a little sportier. For sure. Sporty. Yeah, a little you know, sportier. I know it's not a sporty car, but yeah. I like that. But definitely the exterior, I mean. I love the way this yeah. car looks. If I were going to get it, I'd for sure get it in this color. Yeah, the, with the black roof, that, yeah, totally black spot roof. on the money. And that orange the, is just beautiful. Now, when it came to moving the seat for your body, were you able to get it to a good position, you think, you pretty know, quickly? And I, and I love that you're asking me this question because okay. Joe knows I'm a super fanatic about seat position. Yeah. Sometimes it takes me a while to get the seat in position. Sure. And this car was really easy to get the seat in position. I would probably say this is my favorite thing about this car is the actual seat. Yeah. and I, Zero gravity seats or whatever. Yeah, and I, and I think that... Uh, you know, from your standpoint, when you drive to work each day, you're sitting in so much traffic that what does it feel like in the seat when you're not moving? Yeah, it's important. And the other thing is, is when you're in stop and go traffic, it can be really stressful on your hips and your sure, lower back. Sure, sure. And you need a comfortable sure. seat. And I know I've talked to a lot of subscribers. Yeah. I've talked to a lot of folks that I work with. Sure. That's the most important thing about the car because you spend so much time in your car commuting. I know some people even have an hour and a half That's commute. That's crazy. You need to take care of your back. Yeah, for you sure. Know, healthy spine, healthy life. Yeah. So something like this would be really, really important to me if I were looking for, for sure. A car and I like this so if that's if yeah. you're one of those people that has back troubles and really needs a comfortable car for a commute for sure this that could be a major selling point are you liking the infotainment system setup and all that I do love the floating sure sort of yeah that floating screen. yep yep and I think my favorite thing about the infotainment setup is this sort of faux leather that they yeah. have how it's wrapped around underneath yeah, they did it yeah they did a nice job with it and I think the other favorite part and you already mentioned sure it, those vents are just yeah you would think like something so simple like an ac <laughs> vent sharp. it's like by putting a little design and thought into it you could really just brighten up the whole interior almost yeah, yeah absolutely what do you think about the ride here as we're kind of it's a little bumpy you, you you think it's comfortable you think it's control like you feel good i do i feel like you know especially compared to the older centrics, Sure. This is a major step up, yes. I would say. Yes, big um, time. The only thing I notice is once we get a little faster, um, it's a little... Yeah, little, once little, we hit about noise. 75, you get a bunch of wind noise. But we're doing right now in the 50, 60-ish range. And it's actually quite... It's quiet. Yeah, yeah, it's actually quite it's quiet, good. which is nice. Yeah, it seems to absorb the bumps pretty well. Yes, yeah, definitely smooth. They definitely work with the suspension. But not like the suspension. Squishy, Yeah, no. You know? Yeah, not like you're driving a marshmallow. Right which is nice yeah. there's some good feedback from the car which is very nice. exactly but i think overall they really uh did a wonderful job not only for the driver but i'm sitting here on the passenger side i love the leg room here room. if six feet tall yeah i mean you're what five nine five yeah, ten five, i mean nine, yeah. so tons of room for the passenger and the driver yeah visibility yeah. look good i like the visibility i'm not having any issues yeah. at all you know i mean i i think this would be one of those cars again if you're looking for a compact car whether it's your first car sure you probably got a list of cars that yeah. you can check out and whether this is on the list or not it deserves to be i'd say for sure and here's why in my opinion these seats i yeah. really like this they are good yes definitely <laughs> that's important when you're commuting i'm sorry it's just you know it is maybe we could get one for your office you know, and you could have this in your office we, maybe and, we could talk to them yeah, and see if they make a chair let's borrow it yeah let's have one like a giveaway <laughs> Well, well, great. I'm glad that we were able to get you behind the wheel. I'm sure Thanks. all of them. Thanks for letting me drive. Yes, and thank for you sure. Guys yes. For encouraging me to do more of this kind there of thing. There will be more, Lori. I promise. You wait and see. <laughs> um, but we need to get back uh, because we got some more fun activities to do here in Miami. That's right. We got to wrap this one up. That's right. So we will see you in a, a split, split second. second. All right, guys. It's been an amazing time here in Miami. 
with Nissan and the all new Nissan Sentra. Is this a competitor up against the Civic, the Corolla, the Mazda 3, the Elantra? You better bet your bottom dollar. And I think that Nissan is definitely doing a great job with adding some new style, adding some new technology, and really keeping that price point. Like I said, entry gateway into the Sentra, you're looking around $19,000. But if it's cars like these that you wanna see on the channel, leave a comment in the comment section. I wanna thank Steve, Tony, and the rest of the crew with Nissan for getting us access to this media day. If you're new to the channel and you're wondering, hey, should I come back and watch this again? You better bet your bottom dollar. I just said that twice. Hit the subscribe button. You'll wanna come back more and more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radies Rise family. If you wanna help us keep making great content just for you on the channel, click the link in the description. Get yourself some Radies Rise merch. Gotta give it up to my wonderful, lovely, beautiful, intelligent wife, Lori. She's been working hard, making sure that she has that camera set perfectly, working out, living life, meditating, and everything else in between. Thank you, Lori, for all your hard work. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.